Well, hi, uh, my name is Andres. I am a PhD student under the supervision of Professor Dennis Kioser at the University of Campinas, now at UNICAM in Brazil. Uh, my research work has as a title Production Strategy Optimization through model based decision analysis to manage a heavier reservoir, polymer flooding, and intelligent well. So, uh, throughout this poster, I will show you briefly what my research is about. So first, uh, where is the problem? Mm, heavy oil reservoirs are very complex, and this is because uh, we usually obtain low oil recovery factors due to the oil's difficulty to flow from the reservoir to the production field system. Also, it's hard to develop and manage a production strategy uh, due to the fact that decision-making procedure must consider all the variables and certainties and physical phenomena to avoid uh, a potential wrong decision. So uh, we propose here the implementation of polymer flooding and intelligent world as production a, a strategy to solve our, our research problem. So uh, polymer flooding is a chemical UR method that injects water with soluble polymer. The polymers cause an increase in viscosity, improving the vertical and erode sweep and reducing the mobility ratio and the water fractional flow, which is translated into a gain in all recovery. In the case of intelligent worlds, uh, we study the application of ICVs, which stands for inflow control valve. So by using these valves, the reservoir management can be improved because they're capable of controlling multiple uh, production and injection zones, allowing the field to reduce uh, well intervention, accelerate oil production, decrease the production and injection of water and maintain the, the reservoir pressure. In our work, we count on the collaboration of Professor Anne's coach at the University of Bergen in Norway with a focus on polymer strategies. So why are we doing this? Our main objective is to apply a methodology to assess the development and management of a heavier reservoir, considering polymer flooding and the use of intelligent walls as production strategy by using model-based reservoir simulation. Uh, this assessment will be addressed from the life cycle optimization procedure for the selection of production strategy. Uh, focusing on the design variables that we call G1 and the management of control variables that we call G2. Uh, for polymer flooding, the specification, physical phenomena, and um, low injectivity are our principal targets of research. And similarly, uh, for intelligent wells, we focus on the number, location, and the operation of the ICBs. Uh, other topics that motivate our, our, our research were, uh, were uh, for instance, uh, we didn't uh, find a lot of uh, studies uh, in production strategy optimization that combine polymer flooding and intelligent world for heavy or reservoir. Also, almost uh, most of the research that we found in polymer flooding for heavy oil reservoirs in but uh, field application and investigation, they would perform for onshore reservoir with vertical walls, which is then different from a case where real offshore heavy oil reservoirs with horizontal walls are part of the subject that we treat. Uh, regarding ICVs, uh, there is also a lack of research uh, for real heavier reservoir under water flooding and polymers. And in some cases, they are more focused on how the optimization algorithm works instead of explaining how the optimization variables impacted the objective function to get better results. And taking into account the scenario of the energy transition, we optimize the strategy considering a more efficient uh, production of oil by improving the, the water management together with the increase in the oil recovery. And last, 
uh, we apply the methodology from Professor Pierser based on 12 steps. So now is the methodology that we are following. So uh, this, this work is following all the knowledge of the general unisync methodology of model uh, based field development and management related to the life cycle production optimization, which is the blue part that go from a step six to 11 of the 12 steps methodology. And here in our case, we optimize the design variables and the management of control variable. Uh, firstly, applying an initial nominal optimization for the base case and then a robust optimization considering the studies of the uncertainties by the notions of representative models. So basically, these are the, the steps of the methodology and the production strategies that we are studying together with their combination. So the strategies are water flooding, water flooding with ICBs, polymer flooding only, and polymer flooding with ICBs. So initially, we review the literature of works related to the production strategy optimization of polymer flooding and intelligent walls with ICBs for heavier reservoirs, followed by the case study and validation where we define the premises and approve the case to go forward to the research. Thirdly, we optimize the case considering water flooding and water flooding with ICVs, which are the, the results that I will show you later in this poster. Then uh, production and strategy optimization considering polymer flooding and polymer flooding with ICVs, and last several studies about uh, uh, cross-simulation, control variables, optimization, and strategy comparison. So now the application. So a base case named EPIC001 has been applied to this work. Uh, the model was built based on data from a real cache case which represents part of an offshore field with a heavier reservoir with 13 API. The simulation model has a, has a 30 times 53, 59 width with a cell size of 100 times 100 meters length and variable thickness. It is heterogeneous in permeability and has good porosity. Uh, now the results, as I said before, these are the results we obtained for the strategy of water flooding and water flooding with ICVs. So firstly, we can configure methodology did it well to optimize the development and management of a heavier reservoir. So a decision maker or a researcher can follow this procedure to optimize, compare and select production strategy for similar cases. Comparing the result of the optimized strategy, uh, water flooding with ICV is better than water flooding. Uh, this is because it obtained a larger value in the net present value, being about 19% larger than that one obtained by water flooding. To support these results, we can observe uh, the field indicators in the in the table that uh, for water flooding with ICVs the recovery factor was superior besides the production and injection of water uh, was smaller so we can prove the value of the water flooding with ICVs over water flooding also you can see from the figure uh, the behavior of the flow rates and the pressure for both strategies. The continuing line represents data for water flooding with ICVs and the dash line represents water flooding. So as you can see, water flooding with ICVs had, had more and accelerate the production of, of oil. Also, 
it had a better water management by producing less water and also it injects less, wa less water and has a better uh, pressure management by maintaining for for longer uh, higher uh, reservoir pressure so uh, thanks for your attention and this is all I had to to say at the moment about my research that is it's going on